completing the table of values on the old and the new style Casio calculators. Complete the table of values for the equation y equals x squared minus x minus 2. Now on the old calculator first I'm going to press the menu key and then I'm going to select option 3 which is table mode. On your screen it should now say f of x is equal to and we're going to type in the bit after the equal sign in the equation that we need to find. So I'm going to press x which you'll see is written in red above the bracket key there. In order to get access it I'm going to have to press the alpha key first and then the x key. Then I'm going to use the x squared button to put the square in and then the minus key and then I need another x so again I'm going to press the alpha key and then the bracket to give me my x and then I'm going to subtract 2. When I press the equals button the very newest model will say g of x is equal to it gives you the opportunity to enter a second function I don't need that here so I'm just going to press equals again and I get on to the range of values that I need to put in. Now the start value is the smallest value of x on your table. You can see my table starts at negative 2, so I'm going to press negative 2 and then press equals. The end value is the last value of x on my table. You can see in this case it is 3, so I'm going to press 3 and press equals. The step is what the x values are going up in. This table is going up in 1s, so the step is 1. You can see it then draws the table for me. It's got it the other way up than the table on my page, but that doesn't matter. You can see in the left columns, I've got the numbers minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three. And then in the f of x column, I've got the values that need to go into the table. So next to minus two, I've got four. So I'm going to write that into the table. The next value I've got minus one goes with zero. So I'm gonna write zero in the table. The next value is minus two. That's already on my table. So I'm quite happy. It seems to be matching up. The next value is also minus two, which also matches my table. The next value when X is two, Y is zero. I need to write that one in. And then if I go down one more, you can see three goes with four, which matches my table. So I'm quite confident then that it all worked out okay. Now onto the new calculator, the method is slightly different. We start by pressing the home key and then using the arrow keys to go across the table and then press execute. You can see I've been taken straight into the table this time but it's blank and it says f of x none. So we need to type in the function somehow and add the range like we did before on the old calculator. And to do that we press the tools button here which has got three dots on it. And you can see it says table range. I'm going to select that first. So the start value, again, is the smallest value on my table, which is minus 2. And I'm going to press execute. That takes me down one row. And I'm going to type in 3, which is the last value on my table. Again, I'm going up in steps of 1. So I'm going to press execute again. And then I'm going to press the execute key. Okay, you can see it's filled in the x values now for me. I now need to fill in the function so it will calculate the y values for me too. So I'm going to press the tools key again and I'm going to go down and I'm going to select define f of x stroke g of x. I want just f of x today, I only want one function in my table. So I'm going to press f of x and I'm going to type in the function. So I need an x first of all. You can see the x is written above the zero key. I need to press the shift key to access it. There we go, x. And then I'm going to press the square button, which is that one there. Then minus x, so I'm going to press the shift key and the zero key again to get my second x. And then minus 2. Once I press the execute button, you can see it's calculated all the same values as I had before. Mr. Tompkins at Tech is the guy Helping you reach for the sky GCSE maths made a breeze Watch his vids get that ease